So this is where we got to in the last video. We created our waffle charts using Pi Waffle. We went through the process of creating individual waffle charts and then creating subplots using this syntax here where we set up our subplots 211 and 212 for each of our wells within that data frame that we had. So just to remind you, our data frame here contains lithology values and also percentages for each of these lithologies. And these represent two different wells. So we went through the process of creating the individual charts and the labels for that. So we can go a few steps further and create different styles of waffle charts. So we're not really restricted to this single block. So if we want to start highlighting specific lithologies uh, within the overall composition, which is a great way to um, add interest to your visualization, we can do that by splitting out the individual waffle charts. So let's set our off color, which is basically what we're going to set our background color to. So let's go with a light gray. Now we want to create our figure and our axes. So we're using matplotlib syntax here. And we're going to call upon plt.subplots. And then we call upon len and we'll pass in lef data df. And we'll set that to one and we'll set the fig size as equal to 10 by 15. So what we're going to do is create subplots for each of the lithologies within our data set and we're going to set that to one column. Next we need to add our data. So for I and axe and color in and zip enumerate axes dot flatten. So we're flattening the axes and then we will set the colors uh, that we specified earlier. So if you hadn't seen the previous video, what we did was we set up a list here for our colors using various hexadecimal values that are then used to give these colors here. So we're basically going to, I is going to be our index through our data and X is going to be our axis within our figure and then color is the colors within our colors list. So next we just need to set plot colors and we'll set that equal to color and we'll set the off off color here to gray and then our percentage is going to be lift data df dot i lock and then we say position i so we're going to go through our data frame and get the very first row from that and we are interested in column well one so we're getting the data from column one so if we go back to our table we're just getting these values here Next, we'll set the values and we're going to set that equal to our percentage that we've just created above. And we're going to set one, my, uh, 100 minus percentage. So we're now having two values within each of our waffle charts. So that means that we're going to have uh, the percentage or our bars or our boxes filled up to the percentage value. And then those remaining boxes will be set with our off color that we've got here. Next, we set the lift and we'll set that as equal to lift data df. And what we want to get is the actual lithology name. And we'll set that to lift. And then we're going to make some waffles. And we'll set the axe as equal to axe. And then we need to say how many rows do we want in each figure. And we'll set that to equal to five and the columns is going to equal 20 so that we get 100 boxes and then our values is going to equal values and plot colors uh, our colors is going to equal plot colors and then we'll set the axe dot set title to lift so now we're going to set our title for the individual waffle chart to the lithology name. So then we just set a few matplotlib parameters. We have a tight layout and we're also going to do plt.show and these two should be in one and that should be us. We can run that. Probably just missed something in the code. Um, so we've got I 
as access color. Ah, okay, I've missed the dot I lock index location. So once this is finally run, we can now see our individual categories. So we've got our shale, our sandstone, sandstone shale, and we can see each of these represented by our color and our off color or gray value. So this is great if we want to compare different uh, groups side by side. So in this case, different wells. So we may have well one, well two, well three, etc. Or we can use the original display of the waffle chart like this one here. However, it just depends on your audience and the intended message that you are trying to get across. So I'm going to leave the next video up here if you want to see how to apply Python to your data visualizations or geoscience applications. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this content and want to see more, make sure you click on that subscribe button and ding that notification bell. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.